I do have a question for you, but I just want to digress a second. First, um, I remember your rookie year. Uh, you were at uh, the Taste of the Broncos, and, and we struck up a conversation, and you mentioned how you were just a normal guy, you know, happened to be extremely good at a, at a sport. And um, in that moment, that reminded me of Demarius Thomas, who was the same way, um, a great guy on and off the field. And so um, I thought that was, I thought back to that. And um, after Demarius's um, untimely death uh, a month ago, um, the PFWA Denver chapter decided that we wanted to honor Demarius in some way. And the, we came up with the team MVP award for on-field performance. So although this doesn't have anything to do with your off-field uh, demeanor or anything, I thought it was appropriate that, um, that you win the inaugural Demarius Thomas um, team MVP award as presented by the, uh, the Denver chapter of the PFWA. So I wanted to congratulate you um, for that achievement. Um, yeah. And then uh, my question would be just, you know, what, what does it mean to, uh, to win this award uh, that honors uh, not only your play, but also uh, your former teammate? Yeah, um, I, you know, I first just want to say, um, man, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. And um, I can't even, I'm still, I was trying to think of like, you know, what I was going to say, because um, I, I just saw, I drove over just now, um, you know, from home from Zoom meetings. And, um, you know, I just saw it as I parked and came right in the building and came right upstairs here. And, um, you know, when I when I first saw it, I just was taken aback um, and and humbled and honored. And and I think I think for me, like what makes what makes this really special is I got to have a relationship with DT and um, and I know the type of impact that he's had here. Um, and I, like you said, I know this has nothing um, you know to do with you know, community work, but um, I think as everyone knows, like how special he was as a player here and the amazing things that he's accomplished as a player here. And I think that speaks volumes. Um, that speaks volumes as well. And obviously, we, you know, we always talk about DT, the person and the impact that he's had on people. It's, uh, it's truly unbelievable, um, you know, to, to be sitting here as the um, inaugural winner. And I'm, I'm, I'm already thinking like, you know, years from now, um, you know, however long it is when, when, uh, you know, the, the future winner of this award, I hope they know, um, you know, the same way that, um, you know, you win the Darren William, you know, good guy award. Like I hope, I hope that future winner, um, you know, years down the, the, the road knows how important, um, something like this award is and how impactful it is, um, you know, because DT meant so much to so many people. And I, I hope, you know, I hope for that, that, that future, you know, future winner, future winners, um, you know, down the road, you know, years down the road that they know, like, this is, this is as prestigious um, as a, as an award gets, um, you know, to be honored with this is unbelievable. Well, congratulations again. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Eric? And Justin, Vic said several times that he thinks this is your best season, that you've been snubbed for the Pro Bowl, that sort of thing. As you look back at your year, maybe what are some of the things that you're most proud of that you were able to accomplish? Um, any games that stand out to you, that sort of thing? Um, I don't know. I don't know if there's anything, I guess, in, in particular that, that stands out. I think one of my – I think one of my uh, – one of the things I'm most proud of is like things weren't going well in the beginning of the season, especially in the secondary. And uh, I said, I said to you guys week in and week out, like that falls on me. And um, I was just, I was, I was, I'm extremely proud of like the adversity that we faced. And then, you know, obviously as a defense as well. And then like, we kind of answered the bell. Um, and started playing some really good ball, um, you know, pretty much after the Raiders, um, after the Raiders week. But 
and obviously it hasn't been great, um, you know, because we're sitting here at seven and nine and out of the playoff hunt. Um, so there's obviously a lot of room there that, you know, we didn't do good enough to win games. Um, but I thought, I thought like, you know, we, we, we handled adversity pretty well. And in my opinion, um, you know, that speaks more volumes than any individual accolades, um, you know, cause it takes all 11 guys on a defensive unit. Um, so that, that's probably, that's probably the thing I'm most proud of, man, is getting to work with the guys that, um, I get to work with, you know, really a special group of, uh, group of guys, group of men. And that, that, that's something that I'll always remember from this season. Thanks. Mike. Yeah, Justin, congratulations on the MVP award. Um, once again, you're kind of the last man standing among your, uh, secondary comrades. Um, a lot of starters in the secondary out this game. I, I was just wondering what your thought is on, this is the 17th game for the first time. As someone who, who answers the bell every game, do you feel it? Do you feel that extra 17th game coming up? Yeah, yeah, uh, that's a really good question. Um, I, I definitely feel it personally. Um, I don't know what it looks like for other teams around the league. I know, you know, obviously COVID has, uh, you know, has impacted a lot of teams. It's, teams. it's impacted ours pretty heavily down the, the stretch here, but um, you know, physically I feel it. And, um, you know, that's something that we talked about for a while, you know, um, obviously with the, um, you know, with the PA and, and figuring out, you know, um, you know, the new agreement on the contract, but, um, you know, we, we came to an agreement and, um, I know a lot of guys aren't happy with the 17th game, but, you know, there are a lot of things that are some positives that are coming out of this, uh, you know, new agreement that we're under, um, you know, new CBA. And so uh, it is what it is. I mean, I'm, I'm not for, uh, you know, um, a 17th game. Um, I think I just think, you know, physically you already go through um, so much through a 16 um, game season, 17 weeks in total. And so, um, I mean, it, it is what it is, though. You, you can't go back and change it. No, you can't. Um, I guess the only way you would get out of that right motivation is to uh, have yourself be a one seed and then maybe the, the starters sit out. So um, that's probably the only way you're going to not play that that last game. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm excited to play on Saturday with, uh, you know, with the guys who are going to be out there playing. So let's go Troy, then Ben. And congratulations on the award. Uh, very deserving. How do you put this year in context? Is it different because of the expectations and to sit here at seven and nine with, you know, now the future of your coach hanging in the balance, does this feel different or is it the same empty feeling because it's not with you in the postseason and your team? Yeah. Um, thank you. And, uh, no, I, I mean, it feels different. Um, I watched, I, you know, I watched, uh, I watched Mel's interview and, um, I pretty much would echo, you know, what, what he was saying, you know, I, I think you can never, you can never base a record off of, uh, names on a sheet of paper. Um, but I, I think, I think this was just such a, a, a well-built, um, roster and we had, you know, so many guys that can make plays at every position level and it's just unfortunate. Um, and disappointing, you know, that that we as a collective unit, coaches, players, um, you know, as a collective unit, like we just couldn't get the job done. And um, that's just uh, that's just something that just like. I mean, I haven't I haven't yet, like really fully bought into it yet, because, you know, mentally, I, I'm really trying to just cash in um, one last time at this season on Saturday. Um, so I really haven't given it like too, too much thought. Um, but I, I can sit here and say it is, it is extremely disappointing, um, you know, because of the guys that we have and everyone knows, man, you can't bring back the same roster year in and year out. And, um, you know, really, really liked our chances with this team. And, and um, yeah, just uh, it's frustrating and disappointing um, for sure to not be able to, um, you know, extend this into the postseason. Hey, Justin, congrats on the award. Uh, this game, the Broncos and other teams around the NFL are honoring Inspire Change, 
a social justice initiative. I'm kind of wondering um, how important has that program been to you and your teammates and how valuable has it been for the NFL to get involved, step into the arena of social justice? Yeah, um, thank you. And uh, thanks for asking the question. It's been, uh, it's been eye opening. Um, and, uh, and it's just been an honor, you know, to not only work with some of my teammates, but to work with the uh, uh, you know, we've been working closely with the Colorado Freedom Fund and Elizabeth Epps and um, her staff. And excuse me, they've just been absolutely amazing in terms of education um, and, you know, like just helping us figure out like what um, fighting for equality looks like in um, today's world and how to do that um, strategically, uh, politically, um, you know, all the things in, in between. And I think the thing that I, I enjoy the most out of it is um, the, it, it's not biased. Um, I think a lot of the times in this work, you can find a lot of bias and, um, I just like to be presented with, um, facts, you know, for the, for the most part, and then kind of have an opinion based on that. And I think that's the thing that I've, I've enjoyed the most working with them. Um, and it's been, it's been great. Um, I mean, all the way from working, you know, on, um, I think it was SB 217 and having that bill passed with, you know, prior teammates that were here and, and coaches that helped with that. And uh, there's some great things that we're working on now um, that I think are going to be super impactful, um, you know, bill wise and, 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 and you know, in the, in the off season, um, you know, I'll be in touch with, um, you know, a, a lot of people about those things because it's kind of still in, in work in progress now, but it's just been great all in all. I could harp on forever. Sorry for, um, rambling a little bit, but it's just been great. And I've been, um, you know, just so thankful to be able to work with them and, and, you know, my teammates. Thanks. All right. Unfortunately, we cannot get to everyone today. So the last question will be to Brandon. Brandon, wrap us up. Thanks, Justin. Cong congrats. I wanted to ask, you know, you're talking about the 17 games and it taking a toll on you. Does your next month have to change a little in case you get the call for the, the Pro Bowl, or are you just going to get in shape that week of those couple practices since it's, you know, the Pro Bowl? Yeah, um, shoot, I honestly didn't even think about it. Uh, you know, I know I was an alternate, but as soon as I didn't make it, I was just like, all right, well, there's always next year. Uh, so I didn't even think about that, honestly. Um, you know, body-wise, I've obviously never been to a, uh, um, you know, a Pro Bowl in person, but I, I've seen – you know, uh, I haven't seen the game in person um, either, actually. But you see highlights and you talk to guys that have been there and, um, you know, you talk about how it is, you know, what you like, what you didn't like. And so, um, you know, if I have the opportunity to go, um, you know, I'll go all in while, you know, thinking about, you know, the health, I guess, of like, you know, my, my body. And so I guess we'll see when that time comes. But, um, you know, as of right now, like I would, wouldn't mind going. Um, I'd love to go. And, you uh, I guess that I guess that kind of um, answers that. But yeah, if it was like you know after the game, you know, I probably wouldn't be able to <laughs> probably wouldn't be able to do it. Thank you so much, Justin. Awesome. Thank you guys again, and um, I, I can't reiterate enough um, how humbled and honored I am to to receive this. And so, um, just thank you guys so much again, and I appreciate you all.